गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी शेल कन्वर्ट ए सेंटेंस फ्रॉम एक्टिव टू पैसिव वॉइस एंड बिफोर चेंजिंग अटेंस फ्रॉम एक्टिव टू पैसिव वॉइस लेट मी ब्रश अप योर नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग द प्रीवियस क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज एक्टिव वॉइस एंड पैसिव वॉइस दैट इज वी कैन से अ पर्टिकुलर सेंटेंस इज इन एक्टिव वॉइस वेन द सब्जेक्ट डज समथिंग सिमिलरली वी कैन से अ पर्टिकुलर सेंटेंस इज इन पैसिव वॉइस वेन समथिंग इज डन टू द सब्जेक्ट then after that we went through a particular table which described how a particular verb can be changed into active and passive voice based on different tense as well as modals is it clear students now let us write try to change the sentence from active to passive voice the first sentence he will finish the work so the first and foremost rule to change a sentence from active to passive voice is interchange subject into object and object into subject when you do this the word the work will become subject in a passive voice the work then we need to identify the main verb in this sentence will finish will become the main verb and that has to be changed to passive form so when you change this word will finish it will become a will be finished because we are supposed to write the past participle form of the word finish in passive voice then we are supposed to use the preposition by and finally the object in this case that is he we cannot write he as it is so we need to write the correct form of the pronoun he that is him so this is how we can change the sentence he will finish the work from active voice to passive voice that will be the work will be finished by him now next sentence who did this it is an interrogative sentence and here we cannot apply the same rule like the previous sentence so when you whenever you get a interrogative sentence like this we sh we should start by using the preposition by then the word who should be changed to whom then based on the tense we are supposed to use the auxiliary here the main verb is did the auxiliary for this particular word is was because did is in simple past tense so you are supposed to write the auxiliary word or auxiliary verb was then the word this and finally the past participle form of the main verb did that is done so the word who did this can be changed as by whom was this done by whom was this done the next sentence he has stolen my book once again we are supposed to apply the same rule the same five rules interchanging subject into object and object into subject so when you do that my book becomes the subject next we need to identify the tense of the main verb here the main verb is has stolen and the tense is present perfect tense present perfect tense so how can we change this present perfect tense into passive voice has stolen will become has been stolen then the preposition by and finally subject will become object in passive voice so you need to write the correct form of the pronoun he that is him so he has stolen my book will be changed as my book has been stolen by him and next next sentence she loves football so apply the same rule interchange subject into object object into subject so football will become subject in passive voice football then identify the main verb here loves becomes the main verb and after identi identifying the main verb we are supposed to identify the tense of the main verb here loves becomes simple present tense and in simple present tense there are two auxiliaries available is and are we can use is if the subject is singular and we can use are if the subject is plural in this case football becomes singular so the auxiliary is is 
then we are supposed to change the main verb into its past participle form so the word loves will become loud then use the preposition by and finally write the object in this case she will become the object but we cannot write the word she as it is we need to change the correct form of the pronoun she so when you change it into passive voice is building will become is being built then the preposition by and finally the object in this case the mason becomes the object mason means a builder or one who constructs next sentence the guard opened the gate in this case when you interchange subject into object and object into subject the gate becomes subject in passive voice then the main verb is the word called opened and it is in simple past tense the auxiliaries which are available in a simple past tense are was and were was if the subject is singular and were if the subject is plural in this case get becomes singular so the auxiliary is was then we have to change the main verb into its past participle form but in this case it is already in past participle form so we can retain the main verb as it is was opened then the preposition by and finally the object in this case the guard will become the object so the sentence the guard opened the gate can be changed as the gate was opened by the guard next sentence some boys were helping the wounded man so when you apply the rules interchange subject into object and object into subject the wounded man becomes the subject here the wounded man then we have to identify the main verb in this case were helping because the main verb and after identifying the main verb we need to check out the tense in this case it is in past continuous tense so we cannot write same auxiliary in passive voice because when it is an active voice the subject is some boys here some boys boys the word boys becomes plural so the auxiliary is also in plural but when but when you interchange into passive voice the subject changes the wounded man becomes subject and here wounded man refers to one single person so we cannot use the same auxiliary here the auxiliary has to be changed into was since it is in past continuous tense after was the word being has to be used was being the word helping will become helped this is a past participle form of the word helping then the preposition by and finally some boys so this is how you can change the sentence in active voice that is some boys were help were helping the wounded man into the wounded man was being helped by sir next sentence someone has invited me to the party so when you change this sentence into passive voice we need to identify subject and object so when you try to write figure out which is the right subject and which is the right object someone becomes the subject and me becomes the object so when you interchange subject into object and object into subject me will become subject in passive voice but we cannot write the pronoun me as it is so the correct form of the pronoun me is i and next we need to check out the main verb in this case has invited is the main verb after identifying the main verb we need to check out the tense this particular main verb is in present perfect tense so when you change it into right passive voice we cannot write the same auxiliary has because here the subject is in past person it is past person pronoun and 
normally we use the word have with regard to past person pronoun i so i have been invited we can't say i has been invited it has to be i have been invited to the party by someone the object someone someone has invited me to the party that can be changed as i have been invited to the party by someone next interrogative sentence who broke this jug who broke this jug so as we did a previous example right with a similar kind of sentence same rule first the proposition by then who has to be changed into whom by whom then we are supposed to write the auxiliary verb based on the tense tense we need to before before identifying the tense we need to identify the main verb here yeah, broke becomes the main verb and it is in simple past tense so the auxiliary available in simple past tense for this particular sentence is was by whom was this then jug the past participle of the word broke broken so the answer is by whom was this jug broken and next sentence someone has picked my pocket here my pocket which is object in active voice will become subject my pocket main verb is has picked the passive form is has been picked has been picked it is in present perfect tense my pocket has been picked then proposition by then object someone someone has picked my pocket the answer is my pocket has been picked by someone so the sentence is why did your brother write such a letter so when you change this into passive voice first retain the word why as it is next identify the main verb and it is and its tense the main verb is did and its tense is simple past tense so the auxiliary available for this particular sentence is was why was then such a letter why was such a letter the past participle of the word write written why was such a letter written by your brother brother becomes the object here why did your brother write such a letter so when you change into passive voice why was such a letter written by your in the next class we shall discuss about the different types of objects and how those kind of sentences can be changed from active to passive voice thank you students